In this video for N4 Electrotechniques, we'll be taking a look at AC three-phase motors. The outer frame, known as the stator frame, consists of the primary windings. They are the stationary windings. The outer casing is used to protect the inner parts. The stator core is made of steel laminated sheets. There are three stator windings which produce the rotating magnetic field. And this is the fundamental principle of three-phase motors. The three stator windings could either be connected in star. And if we have a look at the terminal box of a three-phase motor, for a star connection, you'll see they are bridged horizontally. And for star, we have a common point between A2, B2, and C2. For a delta-connected motor, we bridge the terminal box vertically between the terminals. And you'll notice for a delta connection, there is no common point or neutral point. The rotor is the rotating part of the machine and can either be connected in uh, as a wounder tap rotor or a squirrel cage rotor. It consists of the secondary rotating windings. The squirrel cage rotor consists of skew rotor bars short-circuited by means of end rings. They are mainly used for AC induction motors. They have a simple and robust construction, and they tend to have a smooth and silent operation. They also have very little maintenance. For the wounder type rotor, the rotor windings are connected in star to the slip rings, and therefore this type of motor is also known as a slip ring motor. The slip rings are then connected to the external resistors, which helps with speed control. They are used as cranes and elevators. They have high starting torque and the high start current can be limited with speed control. In terms of slip, in order for EMF to be induced, in order for the machine to operate, there is a difference between the synchronous speed and the rotor speed. Now the rotor speed is the speed of the actual rotor and the synchronous speed is the speed of the rotating magnetic field. How do we produce a rotating magnetic field for a three-phase AC induction motor? Three coils are placed 120 degrees apart. A combination of the three magnetic fields produces the rotating magnetic field, which then rotates at synchronous speed. The advantages of three-phase motors, they are self-starting, smaller and cheaper. They are more efficient and have a better power factor. How to reverse the rotation of an AC induction motor. In order to change the direction of a three-phase motor, it is necessary to reverse two of the supply lines to the stator. And you can see all you have to do there is change or swap two of the phases. So in this case, we could swap the red and yellow phase and we will change the direction of rotation for a three-phase motor. Right, thank you for watching this video for three-phase AC induction motors.